Are you ready to step up? Look who's all grown up now. The new John Chu movie, Step Up to the Streets, is a sequel to 2006's Step Up, and much like that film, it's stripped of surprises and co-song cliches. Unlike the previous film, this time out the female lead is the one with the tough exterior, and the male lead is the one who comes from a place of academic privilege. That's a radical stretch, I know, and the writers must have fallen off point in their struggle to come up with the premise. But there you have it. You just put your spit all over me. In the movie, Brianna Evigan's orphaned Annie cuts loose with some kick moves at a club which catches the eye of Chase, played by Robert Hoffman, who is so impressed by what he sees in Brianna's crazed crunk that he works his own magic to get her admitted into Maryland's coveted School for the Arts. Those competitions, you are risking everything. Let's do this. And that's where trouble ignites. Who wants to bet that abrasive Andy isn't exactly a seamless fit amid her new peers, and that by going to school she'll have a falling out with the members of the 410, a street dance team known for causing dancing, chaos, and public, and with whom Andy belongs, and what of Chase's own dreams? Might they flourish as he and Andy step up to the streets for a dance showdown? As predictable as all this is, the movie only really lags when its characters are asked to speak and act, so the good news is that they mostly dance and quite well. All of this feverish bending, twirling, and twisting is so infused with attitude, it allows the film and its characters to live and breathe in ways that run counter to the movie's otherwise rhythmless script.